Hello, in the last video I set up a temporary work area and started clearing up the weeds. In this video I'll be clearing some more weeds but I'll be building a very big compost bin and using those weeds and some of the stable sweepings to fill that compost bin. Previously I made a small compost bin, well what I would call small, that was about three square meters. Right, I'm layering the straw on the bottom, then topping it off with the uh, nettle uh, stalks and uh, comfrey stalks and all the weeds and stuff, uh, minus the roots, so it's just the stalks and the leaves. And then layering that, it's going to be like a lasagna with uh, different layers of uh, barnyard straw and weeds. This is obviously not going to be enough for that lot so we will meld another compost bin similar to this one a bigger one way down the, uh, down the allotment this was quickly filled up with layers of weeds and stable sweepings so a bigger compost bin was necessary I cleared this area yesterday and I've just uh, chucked all the thistles that I pulled and I've put the nettles in that uh, green bin so uh, now it's a case of uh, raking these up, making the compost heap and then filling it. Right, I've put uh, some pallets together to form the two corners of the uh, big compost heap um, with all the straw and manure and weeds and everything in it. Now does look a bit like it's leaning in but that's deliberate because uh, the compost will be pushing out so I want the pallets to be pushing sort of leaning in so they lean against the compost rather than if they were straight and the compost leaned over it would try and push them out so if they're just leaning slightly in it'll uh, offset the effect of the compost pushing out right I've put the whiteboard on and collected these two corner, corner pieces um, and attached the board to the corner pieces and I've also gone in and added uh, a stake in the middle. Um, it's actually threaded through a hole in that, that bar so it's... it's uh, that bar is going to hold it steady and just tie that up and uh, when I put the compost in I will go back and put a few more bars outside and that will help support it and keep it because the compost will keep it keep pushing out so as long as there's a couple of stakes on the other side it'll be fine it's not going anywhere I made the compost heap of uh, Got the corners in. Uh, I've left one side open obviously so I can uh, just wheel the stuff in and then when I've finished I'll put the side on um, and then just top it up because it's easier than having to lift everything over the side just wheel everything in and dump it in. It's going to be a few wheel, wheelie bins full of uh, stuff but I'm getting murdered by flies here the kamikaze flies, they just keep flying into my face, straight in. I don't keep my mouth open for long because one flies and one will fly in. I've swallowed three already. Well, I had to spit them out, but yeah, horrible. Mad flies. There is quite a lot of uh, f fungi mixed in with the deeper bits of compost so all that mycelium will help to rot down the stuff quickly. We have a large chipping spain next to the top car park where tree surgeons, arborists and landscape gardeners drop in clippings and chippings and even logs. There is still some of the stable sweepings left 
Material arrives regularly throughout the year, but it can vary seasonally. During the winter, it tends to be mostly woody evergreen chickens, but in the summer, it can be a variety of types, such as dried tree clippings with leaves, or fresh clippings that contain green leaves, which are perfect for adding to the compost, and finally, woody chippings, which are perfect for paths. I use some of the material for mulching the beds and containers, but if there are clippings with lots of leaves from trees and hedges, then I add them to the compost. I moved these wood chips to the other corner of the greenhouse building so that I could build the first compost bin. Then they went in the new bin that I've just built to add some woody material so that it balances out the leafy green weeds. I'm my own worst enemy by making myself work harder and moving things around as I work. I can't believe how much this compost has uh, gone down. I mean, that back was all to the top of the white boards, and you can, it's gone down by a good almost uh, half in the last few months. And obviously, brambles are trying to get, grow back in, and weeds have uh, started taking root. So, it's obviously good compost. <laughs> it's making good compost. Uh, so, uh, I'll, uh, I've got a bit more, I've got this lot and this lot still to clear and all those raspberries were clear of, cleared of weeds about three months ago and look at it. Uh, so they'll all go back in here and uh, then uh, I'll leave it for the winter and then start turning it um, uh, probably sort of January, February. There was some um, uh, fungal bits in the um, straw and manure that I put in here, so that was that's probably doing something. Well, it's maybe ugly, but it works just like me. In the next video, I'll uh, do a bit more clearance and I'll be setting up some more beds. So, goodbye for now, and come back soon. Horrible. Mad flies.